Hey, what's up, guys? This is Christopher Harold, and uh, right now I'm live in uh, uh, Euless, Texas. Um, I don't live in Euless, Texas. I live in uh, Arlington, Texas, but I came out to a neighborhood because uh, I want to make this quick video for you guys because too many of you guys are, are contacting me, and, and in a way, you're trying to insult me, but you're actually insulting yourself, guys. And, and here's the deal. A lot of you guys are emailing me and telling me that you don't have $25 to get an Empower Network, and you're asking me to pay your money. Do you realize what, what you're saying? You're asking another business owner to donate to your business $25 because you're refusing to be resourceful enough to go out there and get it. Just had someone send me an email today uh, telling me that, uh, you know, they lost their place and they don't have any money, they're unemployed and uh, things of that nature and for me to pay her money to get her involved in Empower Network. I asked someone the other day, the exact same thing, sent me an email and telling me that she wants me to give her money because she can buy a car so that way she can get an Empower Network. Don't, don't, don't really understand how those two correlate, but, but this is not the first, second, or third time that I have people contacting me and asking me to pay for them to get an Empower Network. So I came out to this neighborhood because I'm going to show you some things that I've done not only to get in Empower Network, but just to stay afloat. Because, see, you guys know my story. You, you know that uh, I've been through foreclosure uh, a few years back. I mean, here's the truth of the matter. I made some business decisions that, it, that it has put my, put my family in tough situations. Uh, I've been in situations before where I made, you know, uh, doing a sales job, I made almost 80 grand a year doing sales. Uh, but I got fired from that job because I couldn't get along with the sales manager. I was kind of too busy focusing on my business, and he and I just didn't click. Uh, I, 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 I made some decisions that cost me financially. I made some investment decisions that cost me financially. I made some business decisions that had cost me financially, that put me in, in tough situations. And so when I got involved with Empower Network, did I have all the money to get involved? No, I didn't, but it's only going to cost 25 bucks to get involved. But you know what I did? I had credit cards, and I put stuff on a credit card. Now, I'm not telling you guys to get in credit card debt, but when you're serious about changing your life, you would take the short-term discomfort for the long-term comfort. So I had to put stuff on credit cards. You also know what else I've done? See this house over here? Or these houses? I actually walked through neighborhoods like this, and what I did was call, uh, this is after uh, I started my real estate investment company, and uh, I did pretty good with that, but I got sidetracked. Uh, I jumped into some other ventures, some big money ventures, and uh, after a year, those didn't pay off. And so it kind of put me, uh, it kind of got put me back before my relationship was made, you know, I think 80 grand a year, I was able to buy uh, with cash, uh, someone who had uh, uh, the uh, millionaire mindset, someone who's been educated, someone who's been trained, someone who's invested thousands and thousands, up to six figures into different businesses. Over, over since 1998, uh, someone who's uh, always worked hard. You know what I had to do? I came out to neighborhoods like this, and you see that roof? Yes, you can see that roof. I actually would go, I actually would go and, and, and canvas these neighborhoods, and I would not, I'd knock on their door, and I would try to get them set up with the, uh, a free roof inspection. And if they, uh, because this area of DFW, they have a lot of hail damage, and so I would go and canvass these neighborhoods, cold call, walk on foot to these neighborhoods, and and I was an appointment setter, and I and I get them to allow me to set up a free a free roof inspection, and if they were to do that, and when my guy comes out and does an inspection, and he actually sees that this roof has enough damage where we can file a claim with the insurance company, then I would get paid 150 bucks per. Uh, see that roof? Things like that. Now the kicker was I, I didn't get 
get paid. They get paid if um, if the homeowner uh, would pursue filing a claim with the insurance company. So that's things I have done. So when you guys are emailing me and telling me to front you twenty five dollars to get in that power network, you're not insulting me. You're insulting yourself because what you're saying is that. I'm not resourceful enough to get $25. I mean, I can list 50 ways where you guys can find money. Uh, I mean, you could borrow the money from somebody. You could put it on a credit card. You could, you know what I also done? I sold stuff. I sold digital cameras. Uh, I sold some of my music studio stuff. Um, I, I, you know, I, I sold things as well. I sold things in my house. You know, there were no use. They're sitting around. But you know what? There are people who got an Empower Network. They sold TVs. They have sold cars. They have sold furniture. They've done yard sales. So the bottom line, guys, is that if you're serious about changing your circumstances, if you're serious about changing your life right now, you're going to do whatever it takes. You're going to cut back on those stupid bills. You're going to stop spending money. We don't need to spend it. It doesn't matter if you're employed or unemployed. Heck, we've all been unemployed before. So that's no excuse. We all been in financial debt before. That's no excuse. You know, the people who who make it in life, there's a difference, there's a difference between the haves and the have-nots. You know, the have-nots don't have because they they don't do things that the haves will do. You make excuses. You, you tell people why you can't do it, and and you, and you have that welfare mentality. That's a welfare mentality. If you're going to sit there and beg another business owner to, to to give you 25 bucks to start a business. If you can't come up with 25 bucks by some of the three or four things I just told you, by selling stuff, by asking friends and family, by going out there and working a, a second job, you know, it, it might, you know, heck, I know I'm better than going uh, to somebody's house and uh, ask for a free roof inspection for them and get paid 150 bucks if the roof has damage and we can file a claim. I know I'm better than that, but you know what? I had to do what I had to do. You know, and I didn't make any excuses. I didn't call up nobody. I didn't beg my sponsor for money to get involved with the company. Why? Because I wouldn't insult anybody like that. By you doing that, 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 you're not ready to start a business. So if you can't come up with $25, if you can't come up with $100, if you can't come up for $500, you can't come up with $1,000, if you can't come up with $3,000, whatever the cost would, would be, you're not ready to be a business owner. Because you, 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 you don't have the entrepreneur mindset. You have the wear for a mindset. You got to be resourceful, guys. You got to be, and you got to do what you got to do. If you got to go out and get a job at Walmart, if you got to go out there and get a job at Home Depot, if you got to go out and start raking leaves, if you got to do what I do, go out here and be, uh, go, go out there and be in a damn uh, appointment center for for roofing, for roof damage, for insurance claims. If you got, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. If you're trying to change your life, you need to go back and watch my video I did. It says, success, how bad do you want it? And and when you watch that video and listen to what I say, and when you want success just as bad as I describe it in that video, then you're ready to be an entrepreneur. Then you're ready to be a trendsetter. Then you're ready to change your life and the lives around you. But until you get to that point where you're dead serious, where you swallow your pride, and where you no longer care, because you know why? Nobody else out here is going to give you anything. People don't care about your issues out here. No one's going to give you anything out here. you got to do for you. And you got to make the sacrifices, whatever it takes to do for you. I know I had to do what I had to do because i got a wife and kids at home. So if i got to come out and uh, knock on doors and canvas neighborhoods and see if I can get appointments set up to come inspect some roofs, so be it. If I gotta go back and sell alarms again, so be it. You know, uh, whatever it takes, guys. If I gotta sell stuff out the house, sell, for, so be it. If I gotta cut back on paying $120 a month for for TV service, I need to do that. But I got my kids, <laughs> and they'd be mad at me. But you, you know the point. The point I'm trying to trying to make, guys, is that if you're serious enough, you're not gonna insult other people and beg somebody else to to, to start your business. So, bottom line is this, go out there and get the money. Empower Network is changing the lives of many people. You've seen the proof videos I sent you. 
you've seen just just what I made my first two weeks against started someone who's who was pr pretty much a newbie online. I didn't know internet marketing like I thought I did. I sent you the proof. I sent you the testimonies of the product is strong, the system is strong, the environment is strong. But no one's going to give you anything. And you know what? You don't want nobody to give you anything if you truly want to be successful. You know, you want to go out there and work. So, so what's going to happen is once once you become successful, now you got your story. So this, I, I can say, yeah, the guy who lost everything, the guy who lost the house, the guy who got fired from a pretty good good paying job, the guy who uh, been through foreclosure, the guy who went out there and knocked on canvas neighborhoods, knocked on doors, trying to get roof inspection, is now making thirty grand a month. Is now making fifty grand a month online, working from home, doing what he loves to do. You understand? That this creates your story. So guys, if you're serious, you you're gonna get the twenty five bucks to get involved with Empower Network. If you if you're serious and and, and one and one thing about it too. We got a training we did inside the Empower Network. And you gotta become a member and you gotta be a member of the inner circle. But it's a training in there. The Dave Wood did and it talks about how you can get money if you truly want it. And you gotta be a member of the inner circle in order to listen to us. What I'm telling you guys is that you can get the money that you need to do anything that you like to do. I know you might not be trained enough to do it, but what I'm telling you to do right now is do what you gotta do to get the 25 bucks to get in started today. Do what you gotta do to get into the inner circle once you get in started today and listen to that audio. Listen to that audio every single day, and, and you will see how you can get what you want. You can get any dollar amount that you want. Listen to that audio. It's going to show you how to do that, guys. But, hey, I got to run, but I did want to come out to this neighborhood to show you guys stuff I've done. Christopher Harrell has done. Me. I'm not a, I'm not an Internet marketing guru. You know what I'm saying? I'm not some... Some, some some guy that's far off places that, you know, I, I'm a regular human being that actually swallowed my pride and came out to these neighborhoods and door my neighborhoods by because I had a bigger purpose in mind. I knew what I needed to do. I'm asking you to come out. I'm asking you to do the exact same thing. I'm not asking you to do anything. I'm telling you to do the exact same thing if you're serious. If you're not serious, then you're not going to do it. And that's okay because I don't want to work with people who are not serious anyway. You understand what I'm saying? If you're serious and if you're tired of the bull crap, if you're tired of the pain that's in your life right now, because, see, if you do nothing, then nothing will change. It's pretty simple. If you're, happy with, if you're happy with the results you're getting today, then keep doing what you're doing. But for you guys who are serious, you guys who are ready to make a change, for you, for, for you who, who just say, you know what, I don't care what nobody else thinks anymore, I'm going to do what i got to do. This is a real deal. You, you click the link below this video, you pick out your credit card, you pay for your $25 membership, and you get started right now.